ladies, gentlemen, and disappointments. We are coming to you live from the Woman Caves in New York and Connecticut. My name is Leslie. And my name is Melissa. And we are Verbally Disastrous. The woman of this topic is 40-year-old Tessica Brown. She is a Louisiana teacher, a mother of five, and on a side note, I think she has beautiful eyes and she's a beautiful woman. Apparently, she went and posted a TikTok video with her handle, I am Dole Lady, to show her hair problem. She was apparently, according to reports, she was in a hurry to leave and go somewhere she sprayed it in her hair and she assumed that she would wash it out later when she got home after all Tessica had used Gorilla Glue on other things around the house and it worked out very well Uh, once she discovered it wasn't going to come out with good old shampoo and conditioner she used a variety of household items to get it out of her hair that include olive oil, cooking oil tea treatment and any other oil that she could put her hands on to, to try. She only made her hair shiny in the process. It wasn't until about a week later, after repeated washing, she realized she was in trouble. Tessica went to the ER, and in there they used acetone packets, and in the process it was burning her head, poor lady, and they were using saline water to try to cool it. Instead of wasting time in the emergency room, she opted to go home with her family and try to take care of it herself, which is mighty noble and a good move instead of wasting many hours in the emergency room for something that probably uh, didn't even, wouldn't even work course. It sounded like she went to the internet, obviously with her TikTok video, to uh, get a solution for her problem. Not realizing, I guess she had closed up the app, went to sleep, woke up, and there was an explosion of a response. It went viral. She never expected the explosion of attention. Um, She didn't want the massive attention and the hurtful, savage comments. People spoke about her on TV. They were talking about her, and I guess that obviously sunk into her soul. From what I've, I've seen the video of her speaking to reporters, She's not looking for that 15 minutes of fame. She ended up cutting off her ponytail and trying to use a razor. The poor woman may have scalp damage and her hair may not grow back. I'm pretty sure she didn't do this just to be funny. I think it's a serious thing. At first I thought it was fake and now I'm realizing it's real and I I feel sorry for her. Apparently the attorney claim where she's suing Gorilla Glue is false. She had initially set up a GoFundMe for $1,500. This was for the wigs that she thought she may need. And as of courtesy of the Wendy Williams show, she has a surplus of $20,045 as of this week. She received wig offers. She turned them down because she didn't want to look like she was doing it on purpose. She gets offers for promos. She didn't want to do them as well. It seems like she's struggling with this 15 minutes of fame and the negative comments that have came through social media. She, on a bright side, she went to an LA surgeon by the name of Dr. Michael Obeng to remove the glue from her hair. And it was a four hour procedure that would cost $12,500. It's a chemical solution treatment. And it was done for her free of charge, which is a blessing for her. And I had heard, courtesy of the Wendy Williams show, that Mr. Michael Obeng was initially on a reality TV show with his wife called The Second Wives Club. And I don't know the motives, but he did her a solid, so good for her. She had to go under light anesthesia. The solution, he explained, Dr. Obeng, was medical-grade adhesive remover, aloe vera, olive oil, and a dash of acetone. He better market that mixture real quick before someone else steals that idea. The glorious piece was watching her in the video be able to run her fingers freely through her hair for the first time in a few weeks. 
I started to feel empathy for Tessica after watching her interview on the Entertainment Tonight interview. She looked super emotional and regrets posting her dilemma online. TikTok, of all places. TikTok, come on now. That, to me, would be the worst place to ask people for questions. You're better off with Kiara or Reddit or something. Anything, anything but TikTok. Her lessons learned was, one, don't use the Gorilla Glue. Two, if you use the Gorilla Glue, don't post that. Three, should have just put a hat on that day and not tried to go for a improvised quick fix. And of course, as I was watching Wendy Williams' commentary, Tessica's mom is a Wendy fan and called in to tell her to be easy on her daughter. So it looked like she was easy on her in response to mom's uh, pushing, urging. Uh, Wendy said to come back to the show and show an update. What do you think about uh, the Gorilla Glue lady? I think she's full of shit. You mean as far as her coming up with... First of all, she could have used Elmer's glue, but I'm only kidding. (laughs) Really, when we glued my shutters together and I used Gorilla Glue, when you get that stuff on your hands... It's not going away. No, there's no way you're going to plaster that in your hair. You can't even get your your fingers kind of apart. It's very sticky. What would ever... How are you going to lay that out in your hair? Would she comb it? She patted it? I don't don't get it. She used a spray. She used the spray and then she figured she was going wherever she was going. And then when she came back, she figured she'd wash it out because she used it around the house as yeah and the shit works yeah she figured it well it worked on my my uh kitchen cabinet it'll work on my hair but then i guess she she (laughs) took her problem and went to youtube and not youtube she went to tiktok TikTok. to get some help it looked good i'm not saying it didn't look bad but me and you both know when i was putting my shutters together i used gorilla glue you get that stuff on your it's very sticky i can't see right how you would try to even get that i'm lucky she didn't glue her hand to her head and leave it there stuck (laughs) Or that stuff is very, very sticky. To her head something, or, something. Or her hat. She should have went out the door. Well, she did say in one of the interviews she should have went out with a hat and not tried to improv. I mean, that's improv like on a... If she never would have got the hat off her head, it would have been a whole different situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she we, we wouldn't have the, the issue that, that she has. But she used TikTok as a venue well, to problem solve. And that's a bunch of uh, horny, uh, uh, obnoxious, weird teenagers. I, I wouldn't bring a problem I, I, to that. I don't have TikTok. I feel like I'm I don't too either. old for TikTok. But, but I imagine. It's, it's what they do these days. It's a new society. Everybody gets online to say everything. Some stuff you just need to keep to yourself. Some but, stuff. You know, but that looked like it. she had a genuine problem, and it's probably a unique problem. Good thing is she got it out. And I think he did it for her pro bono, that surgeon or somebody. Yeah, but one would say, why did they have a rate for that chemical treatment? It was some sort of a plastic surgeon (laughs) went to do the chemical treatment. What? Why do they have a price for that? Is she the only one? She's not the only one? Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. She is not the only one who's done this. Someone probably used the Gorilla Glow. I mean, the uh, Crazy Glow. Remember the guy, the old, old commercial here? Give away hat. my age with the hard hat. Was, and he was stuck in the air on the hard hat. Yeah, but I still would, it would not, I would not see Crazy, I mean, Gorilla Glue sitting there as an aerosol can and go, let me try this on my hair and I'll just deal with it later. But she used the glue. Gorilla glue doesn't come in an aerosol spray. Yeah, no, it did. Like, it does? Yeah. Okay, see, I didn't That's have why that. the temptation was there. That's why I thought it was weird. Like, how did she not get that shit on her hands and be like, how could I put this in my hair when you can't get your fingers apart? <coughs> All right, so I didn't know Gorilla Glue had, a, had an aerosol can, a spray. That's weird. Yeah, but, had, right. and I guess it's one of those things. It wasn't sitting in the... It was sitting, should be sitting in the garage. No, or, but she knew what she was doing. She figured oh, she she'd try she, it. So. Well, she didn't know, know what she was doing because... I mean, from what it no, sounded Leslie. like, she was regretting. She ran, well, right, but she ran out of her product, <laughs> ran to the garage, said, oh, let me try Gorilla Glue. But like I said, her hair did look nice. It looked really nice. So Gorilla Glue should probably lady, make a but, product yeah. not so sticky for hair. And there, well, use her as the I think the, she uh, should be the spokesman for Gorilla Glue, and then like at the tail end, like a Geico commercial, don't do this at home, kids. Don't do this at home. Yeah, I think she'd make a lot of money. She should do that. <laughs> I hope she hears this. Go do that. Go be the spokesperson for Gorilla Glue. That's dynamite. <laughs> Fuck it. Work. Take it. Yeah, take it as a good thing. That'd be awesome. All, all the opportunities. It sounded like she didn't, she didn't want to take advantage of, say, uh, opportunities for free things because then it'll look like she went out and did oh. it. 
Dutch. That's our um, our spokesman. Um, her name is Dutch. Every once in a while, if she doesn't like something or she wants to censor, <laughs> she'll let us know that uh, it's it's no fly zone. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, uh, she learned her lesson, and she's got that 15 minutes of fame. I, I would use the shit out of it. I don't know about you. Yeah, I wouldn't feel bad about it at all. Now now use it. Make the best of it. Yeah, be one. Of, it should be on the Geico commercial. No, she should really, like you said, <gasps> Definitely do a Gorilla, Gorilla Glue. Glue commercial. That would be awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. It's a disaster. Have a new, a new Super Bowl uh, Gorilla Glue commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Have it stuck to the ball, like, oh, get tackled by 30 guys, and she could be in the stand, like, but my hair looks good. I, You know, we never actually bothered to look to see if there was any other cases of, of people using Gorilla Glue on accident, much less any other types of crazy glue. I mean, well, other than, you know, it comes to mind, that American Pie um, sequence when I forget which kid, he was in the middle of watching a porn, and he had the Gorilla Glue. And he, uh... He used it as lube? Yeah, he thought it was I don't lube. think it was Gorilla Glue. It was some kind of glue. It was crazy glue. It wasn't Gorilla Glue. It was probably pre-Gorilla Glue era. Yeah, definitely but pre-Gorilla Glue. It was like glue. some sort of, uh, who, who say pallets, and, uh, he had, he had to go to the emergency room and, and get the, the VHS tape unstuck off of his hand. I remember that. That, that, that was an oldie book goodie. Yeah, of course. It's an oldie book goodie. You have anything else, uh... No, on not on that. Like I said, hey, I hope she makes the best of it. Yeah, I I hope she makes her 15 minutes of fame uh, last, yeah. and uh, hopefully she doesn't do that again. And wait, I could have sworn I heard another person did it for that 15 minutes of fame. We gotta find. We gotta see. Who well, I, I didn't hear anything, so we'll have to look that up. Yeah, of course. We'll have to fact check that. All right. Well, for now, we're done on this topic. And uh, we have some, what, shots lined up uh, for later, a variety. So we're going to try them, sample them, and describe to you as much detail in another episode. Stay tuned. Be safe. Dry. Warm. Hug your cat. Hug your kitten. Peace out. Peace out, Cub Scout.